What's up guys, Spinfirearms here and someone wanted a quick breakdown of the Smith & Wesson MMP9 2.0 subcompact versus the Shield Plus, so that's what we're going to do. As you all know, the Shield Plus is my third favorite everyday carry choice. It just has so many great features. It has an amazing flat face trigger. It is not the hinge trigger. It has great texturing. It's somewhere in between this MMP 2.0 subcompact and something that's a little less aggressive so it ends up being a great grip texture you don't need to add anything to it perfect right out of the box the finish is unbelievable on the shield plus it does have a little bit of front serrations which is nice has rear serrations obviously three dot metal sights which are nice and it is very thin 13 plus one this is basically smith and wesson's micro compact even though it is bigger than like the p365 the hellcat and so on but bigger means shootability, and this thing is one of the best shooting Micro 9s out there. This is my favorite to shoot out of all the Micro 9s. Now, it doesn't have a rail, and it is super thin, so sometimes people don't like the grip on the shields. But for me, I think it's very ergonomic and a great shooter. When I first got it, though, it did feel a little awkward in the hand. But as I've started shooting it and handling it, it's just been a great option, and it feels natural to me now. Now the subcompact. This is their version that is similar to a Glock 26, a Ruger SR9C, an XD subcompact, and so on, right? So I like this size firearm. The texturing is very aggressive, but I like that. So once again, no need for grips on these. Also, it comes with four different backstrap options, so you can basically turn your firearm into something that fits your specific hand, whereas something like this, you cannot do that with. It, you get what you get, basically. Unless you throw some grips on it or something like that, make it a little wide or whatever you want. This does have a rail. It has small forward serrations. Um, this one does have a manual safety, but the reason sometimes I get manual safeties on firearms is because they'll be $50 or $100 cheaper. You'll see, for some reason, this one was cheaper than all the other ones, so that's what I'll go with. And as long as the manual safety doesn't affect your shooting and your training, then you should be fine. I do like how the Shield Plus manual safety is more tucked away, so this is never touched, never bothered with, whereas this sort of sticks out a little bit more um, so you can hit that a little easier, but it all depends on your grip. My grip stays away from that um, safety, so I have no, I will have no issues with it. Now, three-dot metal sights, and you can just tell this firearm was really well built, just like the Shield Plus. They're both great quality. They both give you a lot of good stuff. They both have a lot of magazine options and so on. The Shield Plus, the flush-fitting mag is 10 rounds, right? This right here is 13 plus 1, so that's why I put this one in for the comparison. And there's also a 15 plus 1 setup, a 15-round mag. This right here, you have 12 rounds, and I believe there's a 13 round, a 15 round, and someone even said a 23 round OEM Smith & Wesson magazine. So not quite the Glock 26 for magazine options, but you definitely can put a larger magazine in there. And there's no purpose in carrying anything above, you know, 17 rounds or whatever. But at the same time, it's fun to have it at the range. It's fun just to know it's reliable in that firearm, and it's not an aftermarket magazine. So I'll probably end up getting it. Anyways, let's do a size comparison. 12 plus 1 right here with that flush fitting mag. 13 plus 1 with that a little bit extended mag, but not much. So there's that. 13 plus 1 on the right, 12 plus 1 on the left. But as you can see, look at how thin that shield plus is. Now here's how carrying goes for me. And let's, or real quick, let's get up top, right? It is going to have a longer barrel, therefore a longer slide on the left. And it is much thicker, as you can see. But like I said, a heavier slide and so on means more shootability. But a better trigger means more likely better grouping. So this does have a much better trigger. It's not the hinge trigger. This is like the perfect self-defense trigger. I really like it. And here, whereas it's the hinge trigger, it's still lighter than a Glock. A better trigger than a Glock, in my opinion. It's just going to take some getting used to, which isn't a big deal. All new firearms take some getting used to. Now, as you can see right here, a lot of people complain when their pinky isn't on the firearm. I don't mind that. I shoot it just fine like this, curled up. Whereas the Shield Plus is going to be the same, but with this 13 round mag with similar capacity to this, you will be getting your pinky on there, and it's very thin. Now, here's what I've noticed. Firearms like this that don't have a pinky extension that are very short are very easy to conceal for me. The width does not affect me as much. But when you have something like this on my body, I'm only speaking on my body, with a longer grip, it tends to print easier, right? And especially in summer, it's harder to not print because of the clothes choice we wear. But this right here is going to be very easy to conceal. I can already tell it's just like my Glock 26. Um, so it's going to be a great option. But anyways, you can't go wrong with either of these. Like, like I said, out of all my firearms, this is my third favorite firearm by far. And this one is going to have to be able to compete. We will see once I shoot it how I like it. 
but that shield plus is hard to beat guys the shield plus is one of the best values out there right now you can get a shield plus for like 380 i mean that, that's just unbelievable they're giving you a great package right out of the box you literally need to do nothing except add some night sights but anyways guys that's a little breakdown a little comparison between these two awesome firearms from smith and wesson thanks for watching